What word did we use, my love, in uh, right, Damn Mortals? They tend to use God's loudspeaker to speak to people of all kinds on the world's petri dish and stage. Although the people might not always get the message. Sometimes they put themselves inside of the message and it's like, no stupid. There is no you in the U.S. There's Nicole and Nick Klaus. They're the you and they're the unit and the two skins. They are trying to communicate to you in any way, shape, and form possible that a human can be pretzelled into delivering a message in your new sociopathic economic world of loose morals, ethics, and nothing right. So in 1942, Irvin Berlin, did you say Berlin? Like is in Berlin, Germany maybe? Where the Big Bertha was? Yes, okay. So Big Bertha Berlin was telling the itty bitty bitty teeny weeny Americans in New York about the uh, cross dress future problem of men looking like women. That's what a cross dress is, because to Big Bertha Berlin, we had, and, and Big and Baby Russia, we had no idea that men even thought of wearing women's clothes. That is gross. I don't know when your towers went down to think that that was theatrically acceptable, but whatever. The point is, I didn't want a husband. I knew Niklas wouldn't be dressing like a woman, and I did not want to know and learn such things in America. However, you idiots decided that dropping the garbage truck off the state empire building all over the floor of Gotham and New York City while Batman over in Russia was warning Catwoman was alive in 1985 when the movie Pee Wee Herman came out for the Pee Wee Herman League of like, where'd all the men go? I heard Texas was having a tree shortage, but I thought they could still build log cabins somewhere on the dude ranch. I guess California leveled that playing field again. God damn it. Um, now what do I do? Because the Tia Frio guy with the U.S. official somebody, whatever, in DC Marvel Comics, <sighs> I sent you a 1942 reference as to what type of cross-dress I meant. Dipshit, I did not. I mean, I don't care if you had to pull me out by my hair. I did not. I mean, where was Nicholas? Why didn't you bring him to the funeral? Hmm? What? Oh my god, there would have been a like chance like encounter of like no other and then I could have lost you. You could have taken your your nephew home with you to Washington. I would have gladly given him out of the couch and you could have driven him all the way back and housed him yourself and kept yourself safe. Why did you insist on leaving me in the funeral with him and your niece Nora? <sighs> There's, like, no signs of intelligence in anywhere, I swear to God. Uh, Niklaus, uh, when do you get to get your hall pass to come for me? I think we told the stupid children of the world enough uh, before we were born. Certainly, we explained it through when we were born, and now they've ruined our entire 41 years, made us look bad, dirtied their systems even more uh, and I really don't give a shit I want to go walk through my magical whatever we do and never see them ever again so when are you coming for me exactly because there's no point in me sitting here like explaining this to like just you and me yeah I'll, I'll just sit here and wait in the car for like I don't know however long it takes you to get a hall pass